Thanks for watching Community Close Up. We'll leave you with the story of District 11's nutrition director encouraging kids to cook, read, and share one page at a time. I'm Joe Nelson. We'll see you next month. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, I did. Okay. Leah Anklum says her three children have shared an interest in cooking throughout their young lives. They've always grown up, you know, being around food, being in the kitchen. Um, and yeah, she, especially my oldest, has shown a lot of interest in baking and now that she's getting older, can do it on her own just because we've taught her as she's been growing up. And and uh, now my little guy, he always, he gets upset if I bake something. If he comes home from school and I made something, he gets upset that he's not there to help me out. Mixing, rolling, and measuring stirred up excitement for eight-year-old Madeline. Her friend Allie shared the same interest and a story written by her father. When I first saw it, my friend was giving it out at this camp called Cupcake Club Camp. So I was like, really? She's giving out a book? And I'm like, wow. My goal in this was to help teach that next generation how to cook and make it exciting for them at an early age, but also make it approachable for parents. Noah Atlas decided to write the story of Chef Ella and her famous cupcakes after his oldest daughter started watching cooking shows. She was mimicking it, and so we thought we'd, we'd start baking with her, and it was very cute, and we thought that it would make a good book, you know, this uh, Adventures of a Little Girl Making you know, baking in the kitchen and making things with her parents. Chef Ella, named after Noah's oldest daughter and drawn to resemble his youngest, decides to make cupcakes to share for her friend's birthday. That is a very nice thing to do for a friend, but you'll need to make enough cupcakes for everyone, said Chef Ella's mother. Chef Ella agreed. It teaches kids and parents the value of putting in effort and presses safety and cleaning up after messes. Chef Ella had squeezed the egg so hard that it exploded everywhere. It also shares the importance of washing our hands and encourages young chefs to use alternate ingredients to allow for some creativity. If you don't have the right ingredient, it's good to know how to try different things so you don't have to throw away what you were making. The thing, you know, for me is really a moderate diet, um, to try to eat a little bit of everything instead of trying to say I can't have this or I can't have that. It was really more about can I make a few changes in the recipes or in the foods that people eat and teach them how to cook with whole foods which is really what's more healthy in, in the first place. The culinary school graduate is in his first year as Anoka Hennepin School's child nutrition director helping decide what meals are offered to thousands of students each day. The menu also has to follow strict regulations and stay within budget. It is what it is and we're trying to work the best we can and find you know, foods that kids like to eat. Noah says he hopes Chef Ella will inspire more kids and families to take an interest in cooking, and he's had a positive response so far. The nice thing is that I've heard is that the kids want to pretend to be Chef Ella, and that's great to hear. It turns into every other kid's book, and that's great because it brings a topic to them that they might not normally, you know, have had seen until they needed to cook for themselves. It's written geared towards the kids so you know a nine-year-old can pick it up and, and read it and know what all the words words mean and I also think it's cool that he does use words that are used in a kitchen like what is a sous chef. I just thought the book was kind of fun and I wanted to make their secret recipe for cupcakes maybe sometime. I want to kind of like make out more foods and put it into a restaurant so people can enjoy it.